Hey there, we are in Houston, Texas for another season of Gear Up. So we've obviously teamed up again with Micro Center. This obviously is the Houston Micro Center. And uh, we're excited to see what kinds of rigs we can transform in this season. Oh, sweet, sweet smell of CPUs. If you're a new customer, you can get $25 off a CPU in store. So if you live near a Micro Center, get onto it and you can combine that with a $20 discount you'll get by bundling a CPU with the motherboard. Don't you just love Micro Center? Those kinds of deals you just don't get anywhere else. Oh, I could just be here for days. And I hear there's a new store in Indianapolis. So if you live near that, check it out. It's brand new. I'm sure they got plenty of stuff to look through. And we were at the build your own PC section of the store. Of course, look at this. They set us up a beautiful table here. This is where we're gonna be building and upgrading viewers rigs. And our first contestant should be walking in through the doors any second now with his rig. He's coming all the way out here from Corpus Christi, which is a pretty decent drive here to uh, Houston, Texas. Are you ready? Stay with us. Are you sick and tired of screwing with the same basic tool we've been using for decades? Looking for something that won't result in a cramped hand or time wasted? Then check out the LTT screwdriver. It's literally just called screwdriver, but don't let the name fool you. It's not ratchet, but it has a built-in one based on Mega Pro's long-standing and reliable design for extra durability and ease of use. Nothing drives me crazier than spending half an hour tightening down case fans. But the LTT screwdriver packs loads of torque in its beefy handle. Also in its beefy handle, 12 different bits for various applications. Applications. Oh, and uh, have you seen my shaft? And look, if anything goes wrong, floating around somewhere in the ether is the Trust Me Bro limited lifetime warranty. So be sure to check these out via the links below. Hey there. Hey. This is Chris. How you doing? And uh, next to us is his little rig here. So this looks like a, what is this, an ITX, ITX build? Yep, running a 680 Ti. 680 Ti. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty old, I mean. Woo! Um, but for what I was doing, it, it, it's great. A whole total of eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. Nice. Yep, and there's a uh, i5 uh, uh, Ivy Bridge 3570K uh, CPU. I'm surprised you made it all fit. I mean, it looks nice and compact in here. I actually really like what you've done with the place. Yeah, I need to, uh, I need to address a few things here and there, but uh, thankfully, um, it, you know, it, it won't take too much time. I think you're going to run into some budget too, so that might help as well. <laughs> well, you know, you know, this, this case is a, a fairly easy one to, uh, to work on just because a lot of the panels open up quite a bit for being an ITX form factor. A few questions, I'm just curious. Do you intend to keep the ITX form factor? Um, that is a great question. Mm. And honestly, what it really comes down to is Budget. And I have a feeling that uh, this is going to be somewhere up there on your priority list, right? We, well, we can, we can hope. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, if, you know, at, at the bare minimum, I would like to see, uh, you know, 680 Ti is quite an old graphics card, so. So we, uh, we actually have, this is a perfect chance to bring in our wheel. And uh, the wheel's been a, a slightly modified this time around based on some of the feedback you guys gave us in season one. Now, unfortunately, we uh, don't have the 36 inch hands-on mechanical wheel. I couldn't bring that on the flight here to Houston, uh, but I have revamped it a tad, like I said. So mainly what we've done is replaced the spin again tab with something that adds a bit more function. So now if you land on the add $100, you're literally gonna do that to whatever your next spin is. So um, I, I could be out a lot of money here. <laughs> I'm willing to subject myself to that in the very, very off chance it happens, but yeah, so we'll see. Alrighty, Chris, this is the moment of truth, what you drove out for. Let's see how much money you've got to play with. All you're gonna do is uh, just click on that spin button there in the center. All right. I'll even turn up the volume for you. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hey, all right. 800 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I think we can do something with that, right? Absolutely. Knowing that then, what do you think, if anything, you want to recycle from that old rig? I would say definitely do for a processor up update. Okay. Okay. So it's looking nice at a platform. All platform around. as well. I guess see where we can squeeze a graphics card in if possible. Okay. I mean, 800 is a pretty good, healthy budget. Let's get to it then. 
Yeah. But one of the things that you could do and maybe be like this 13600K for 300 bucks makes a lot of sense, right? Um, because you can pair that with like an open box motherboard and then you'd be somewhere in the neighborhood of like $400. Okay. And then you could add that graphics card on top of that with the extra 400, right? And that'll put you right at that 800 bucks. That's uh, that's 349. Yeah, 349. I feel like that's, that's really a way wow. better option right there. And yeah. you get DDR5 with yeah. that? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And after much deliberation, I think We've honed in on something. What do you think, Chris? Do you think uh, you think we're happy with what we've absolutely preliminarily decided upon? Mm -hmm. That word, preliminarily. Oh, there she comes. Twelve seven. I still can't believe that bundle is priced the way that it's priced. <laughs> that is a heck of a deal. Hey, sitting right there for you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you do the math on this. It's like each thing is like a hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Like that's <laughs> that's that is insane. Yeah, so I think after the discounts, it's. Uh, 183 for the CPU, 122 for the motherboard, and then the RAM comes out to 44 bucks. That's mental. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is crazy. I don't, know, I, I don't know how you guys make money. <laughs> is that a single stick? I think it is. Is that a single stick? Yeah, it's a single, a single 16. Yeah, well, oh, it's know. a single 16. Oh, yeah. that's that's mm, that, yeah. Mm. That's why. But I think still that bundle deals nuts. No, yeah. Yeah, we, you, we regularly get people that'll get the single 16 stick and then just buy another one yeah. for 60 bucks. The wall of red. Right. One of my favorite aisles. Yeah, a couple years here. ago, it wasn't looking too hot. But I was going to say, yeah, it was, it was barren in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you guys have them stacked on. Look at that. You've got them stacked on top of the yeah, aisles. Yeah, oh, wow. Look how many cards there are. And that's just one section. There's so many just laying around now. Um, so 67. 7,900. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I should probably move away from these. Mm. Yes. <laughs> mm. We're going to be somewhere <laughs> somewhere here near the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Still, you though, it's going to be a 90-day difference compared to what you had. Oh yeah. So yeah. Look at that. Six to seven hundred XT. Is this it? guy one light? Is this black or white? It's um, black. Black. So Perfect. that would be it. Yeah, that's the one. Our card is looking pretty full back there. We're basically gonna be building an entirely new PC. The only thing we're recycling, we're recycling storage and then yep. the power supply. Here's a seven fifty watt EVGA mm -hmm. gold in there currently. Mm -hmm. So AK and look at that. AK four hundred. And that completes it. Eight hundred bucks worth of stuff. Can't go wrong. All right. Super excited. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks, we guys. are checked out and uh, ready to upgrade. Yes, we are. Here we go. Dude, you set this up so nicely. This is like presentation mode right here. So we can start pretty much like any other PC build if you want to get the platform ready to go. So what motherboard, CPU, RAM, and cooler. So, and everything else we can just leave in there. You could repurpose this, you know, give it away, whatever you want to do. Should be uh, text upright. So yeah, Fixed like that. Right. Yep. Okay. Looking good. All right. Sure, it's bothering you a little bit that it's just it, a single dim. Absolutely. But easy, easy upgrade. I mean, we'll at least see. you've got you know still 16 to start with. This will be remedied in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Never installed this cooler before. A few people in the previous season chose the AK620 with slightly bigger cooler. Mm -hmm. But uh, the install, this one's a bit different, even though it's a smaller cooler. The bracket seems to be pretty nice quality. Yeah. Fan's just gonna sit something like that right there. Clip it on. There we go. It's a pretty clean looking tower cooler. Not too bad. I like yeah. that they have a little bit of garnish on top. Yeah, a little texture yeah. there just yeah. to spice it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really clean looking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get all that peel. Mm. Good peel. Mm. Right, one more over here. Another peel? It's a dual peel? Th this, is half, this is half the build experience here. Last one. Yes, yes. That's there all we that go. was. Yeah, yep. we were in the wrong slot, that's okay. It happens. There we now go. Now we're talking. That's how it's done. We've gotten the power supply out of the old rig. Dude, for a $70 case, you get like plenty of stuff up top here. Even a Type C port, two Type A's, uh, 3.0's, and uh, you know, button for your LEDs. Yeah, this case is actually a really good value at $70. In she goes. This one actually has to oh, go over here. Which one you need? Oh, the front panel? Yeah. The front panel should be, let me see. Uh, oh. Yeah, oh. it's, uh, yeah, th okay. it's connected, yeah. but yeah, it's the far left left ones. That key there, yeah, it's kind of a weird it. setup. Yep. Power supply going in. So this is a, what, an NEX 750B. Oh, it's 80 plus bronze, I thought it was gold, but still fine, Supernova. Two and a half inch SSD from the old rig, going back in. Here we've got the glory shot. Oh yeah, ooh, dude, you get tons of plastic oh, on this card. Heck yeah. Actually, some of this gets annoying because it sticks, but I don't know why they do this now to shrouds. But hey, we'll take it. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Um, already got the slots cleaned out at the rear. Just slide right in. 
Moment of crunchy truth. Oh yeah, yeah, this is always a little cringe. Very, very nice. There it oh, is. Yeah, good looking. And things are getting all buttoned up. So this uh, power supply from his old rig only currently has one eight pin connected. It is semi-modular though, and he does have another six pin that he can add when he gets home. Uh, so right now, I don't know if the card is gonna allow the system to post with only one uh, power cable connected. We'll give it a shot. If not, just to check that it all works, except for the card, we'll take the card out and then uh, we'll run off of integrated graphics and try for a post. So we've got it looking pretty clean back here. And oh yeah, the finale. You just gotta. I know you guys can't see anything right now. The glare is crazy. Really like how this handle though um, is integrated. Swing it open and voila. Right, Chris, it looks really good, but we need to make sure that it turns on. Absolutely. You don't wanna walk out of here with a broken rig. So uh, go ahead and do the honors. Okay. And did I already hit the button? Let's see. We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You turn on the power switch. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Got some yes, fans moving. Yes, much better, much better. Wow. Look at that, you even get a little integrated RGB bar up front here. VGA light is currently on. <laughs> Looking for a green boot LED. Okay, there it is. I don't, I don't know if this knows to default to Type C for video out. A few moments later. Hey, hey we did there it. it is. <laughs> So that's what we want to see. And obviously, once you install the discrete card, power that up, and you'll run off of that. So make sure you connect, of course, your display yeah. cable to the card in mm -hmm. the future and not the motherboard where we have it now. So other than that, uh, it's mostly finished. What do you think? How do you think it turned out? I am super stoked. Uh, everything looks great. Uh, you know, it'll be fun to get this thing going and, and kind of seeing how it compares to oh, my yeah. brother since he's got a NVIDIA card and everything else. So, you know, and uh, yeah, I mean, definitely world's better than I was gonna say the old girl over from? here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think night and day difference there for sure. And then uh, yeah, you might be able to flex your muscles a bit. You know, you might, you might have a <laughs> little bit of an edge in certain games over the Nvidia counterpart. Oh yeah, Josh, you get that. Yeah, rotate that case. Yeah, rotate it. Oh yeah, keep going, keep going. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right. So that wraps up the first episode, I think of uh, season two of Gear Up. I am super appreciative that you were willing to drive up here for this. And yeah. uh, hopefully it was worth it. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, great computer. I'm super excited to have the opportunity to come here. Thanks again as well yeah. for oh, yeah. uh, giving me the opportunity as well as you know, Micro Center as well. Yeah, I know. Thanks for being a good sport and being willing to be on camera. It's always important, I think, to, to get the viewer's perspective, especially when it comes to a budget like that. Like, I want to know what you're thinking, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and so mm -hmm. uh, I think you did very well for uh, the budget that you uh, that you spun. So, all right, with that, uh, we're gonna conclude and uh, I'm gonna thank Chris for being here. God, De you why dead fish? every time? Dead fish? Every time, I just, <laughs> thanks Chris. Thanks again. Right, take care, thank you guys for Greg. watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>